It's oh. not. Oh! 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 How do you do that? Oh, magic. I can't diagnose this. A gente não sabe o que acontece, né? A gente não sabe o dia de amanhã. Absolutely. When faced with various religions, it is very difficult to influence Muslims. He's, uh, everybody can feel that, what's, what's around him and... Uh... Well, everybody have their own spirits. We're not only made of flesh and bone. Bro, his spirit. You know what Jerry said about the whole juju thing? Mm -hmm. Like, the, that's real. Alhamdulillah. I know you got this. They don't like this. Alhamdulillah. Tomorrow night, I'm gonna smash your boy, guys. I can't diagnose this. Nossa, você já deu uma força pra ele, é um momento muito difícil, né, é, pô, é, eu tenho, tenho meus dois filhos, né, é, pô, é, agradeço a Deus, né, é, é difícil. Você saiu na frente, porque você saiu na frente. É um momento difícil, né, às vezes a gente precisa estar tá nesse ambiente para a gente ver quanto a gente é abençoado, né? Eu tenho os meus dois filhos, né? E a gente não sabe o que acontece, né? A gente não sabe o dia de amanhã. É só Deus que sabe, né? Mas peço muito a Deus que é, não passe por essa situação, porque... I intentionally added this clip in the beginning of the video to show that Alex Pereira is a good person and no matter what we think about his beliefs, he seems to be following them in good faith. So may God guide him and us all. Alex Pereira belongs to the Patajo indigenous peoples of the Amazon. They believe in the immortality of the soul and that once free of the body, souls wander through the forest, listening to the conversations of the living, watching their dances and seeing all their activity. They fly through the atmosphere or the space existing between the sun and the moon, which the Patajo identify as the exclusive dwelling place of the souls of their dead. The souls of the dead were also considered divinities, able to answer prayers and cause storms. This is not meant in any way, shape or form to be an attack on Alex's beliefs or Alex personally. This is just a dive into the subject from my point of view as a Muslim, as an MMA fan, and as a fan of Alex himself as a fighter. If you don't like these types of videos, you can click away right now. There has been a lot of confusion about Alex Pereira and his faith. Some fans are just now discovering his 2015 conversion to Islam, where he took the Shahada in a mosque in Brazil. Yes, he did convert to Islam, but over the years he seems to have drifted away from the religion. Instead, Pereira has reconnected with his ancestral shamanic roots. Now, it's important to note that Pereira hasn't explicitly stated that he is no longer a Muslim, but shamanism, where you believe in guidance from spirits and ancestors, directly contradicts Islamic beliefs, which emphasize that help only comes from God. A gente não sabe o que acontece, né? A gente não sabe o dia de amanhã. É só Deus que sabe, né? Mas peço muito a Deus que é, não passe por essa situação, porque... So while he might believe in a higher power, his current beliefs seem to clash with Islamic teachings. In Islam, strict monotheism means reliance solely on God. And any belief that the spirits of the dead can help you is considered shirk, which is the gravest sin in Islam. From my research, those who believe in contacting the spirits of the dead are most likely being deceived by jinn, not their ancestors. While this is speculative, many people argue that these shamans might knowingly or unknowingly interact with dark forces. Yes, everybody knows that and he's doing these uh, rituals before the fight. He's uh, everybody Everybody can feel that what's what's around him and uh, what's what's going on and I think Alex can't uh, fight without that and that's something what's what is uh, what he's using like normally in a fighting and uh, let's see this is like right now this is my challenge to him if we can fight in a clear way in this case yeah to be not uh, without like some another things some uh, some whatever but let 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 the higher power be there in the cage to see who's the best in the world, in the performance, in the pure performance, that's all. 
This all ties back to Yeri Prohaska accusing Pereira of using voodoo. Pereira denied the black magic claims, saying he follows the traditions of his ancestors in good faith. Alex, uh, earlier today Yuri was in here and he said that he believes you use shamans, magic and spiritual help to compete in the Oxcon and he would like to challenge you in this fight that you don't do that and you just uh, perform physically. Well, everybody have their own spirits. We're not only made of flesh and bone. I have found mine. If he did not found his or if he does not believe, it's not my fault. Even Adesanya has hinted at feeling something strange when fighting Pereira. Although that doesn't take away from Pereira's raw talent and toughness, he was a beast long before any talk of black magic. Bro, his spirit. You know what Jerry said about the whole juju thing? Mm -hmm. Like that? That's real. That's real. Yeah. So the, the last time I fought him in Miami, look, he beats me. That's why I hate when people say, oh, is he scared? He's scared. I was like, bro, I ain't scared of shit. The guy beat me in the biggest uh, arena on the planet, Madison Square Garden. Same way as the last time he beat me in Brazil in his hometown. I was beating his had him hurt in the end of the first round, all that. It took him down, and then he gets me in the last round. It's his spirit, his whatever, like, ancestors or his people that are praying for him. Because I got prayer warriors as well. My mom and dad be fasting, and they have people like... But what's even more interesting is how the UFC and Pereira seem to downplay a potential fight with Magomed Ankalaev, dismissing Ankalaev as just an average fighter. Ankalaev, however, responded in his own way, calling Pereira the voodoo guy and joking that he'll knock the demon out of him. This potential fight between Ankalaev and Pereira is intriguing, not just for the skill matchup, but also because Ankalaev isn't faced by the black magic accusations. He says it won't affect him since he prays five times a day. This actually reminds me of a Russian magician who once admitted how difficult it was to cast spells on practicing Muslims. Absolutely. When faced with various religions, it is very difficult to influence Muslims. They are in a constant connection with the Agrigor. They do namaz every day and read prayers on a daily basis. They are constantly under some kind of a dome, so it is very difficult to influence them. When you start impacting a person, he begins to address in a prayer. Indeed, many of them are very different from those who come to church only when everything is bad in their life. They come to pray and then for five years they forget about God, some canons, and so on. It's fascinating to hear something like this from an outsider of Islam, further solidifying the spiritual protection that comes with prayer and at the end of the day it's skill preparation and heart that will decide the fight but from a spiritual perspective as Bilal Muhammad beautifully explained on the Joe Rogan podcast a Muslim fighter who truly trusts in God has already won regardless of the outcome we see just the pixel but God sees the entire picture we have a thing called tawakkal that means like God's will so whatever his will is that's what it is so you could sit there and train and be super stressed out and like, am I gonna win or am I gonna lose this fight? It's like, you just tell yourself, whatever God's will, that's what's meant to be. I've lost on the biggest stage. I've lost uh, my debut in the UFC. I'm coming undefeated and I'm like, I lose a, a close fight. And I'm telling you, why did God do this to me? Like, I pray five times a day, like, I, I'm a good person, I do this. And it's like, when you're thinking back to that, it all brought you to where you are today. So knowing that his plan is always the best plan, no matter what. So now when I look back at the losses I've had, it's like, maybe I wouldn't be where I am right now. But I wouldn't be as tough as I am. I wouldn't be as smart as I am. I wouldn't have changed the ways I've trained. And I think that all of these guys had that mentality. It's, you don't have the, the fear of losing because right. if, if I lose, I was meant to lose. If I, if I fail, it was for a reason. There's a bigger plan in the end. And God may not show it to you now, but he may show it to you in a couple of years. He may show it to you in the next life.